Dr. Woodson, members of the board, parents, teachers, friends, Romans, and countrymen. On behalf of the James F. Burns High School Class of 1996, it is an honor for me to welcome you to tonight's proceedings. It has been a laborious 12 years of training for each one of us. Even the most earnest athlete does not train 12 years for one race, but no other race is as important as the race that we are about to enter. After 12 years of training, we are at last prepared. Now, we will go out onto the track and await our leg of the longest running relay race ever. Here we stand with resolution as we reach out to grasp the torch and run with all our might until our leg is over and we pass on the torch to another runner. I'm of course speaking metaphorically of the race of life, a race that has been running for eons and will continue for millennia. Through your dedication and leadership, we have been primed to run the race to carry the torch. It's been through watching you that we have learned to hold the torch high and not let it fall. We have learned that inscribed on this torch are the words love, dedication, work, and knowledge. We've been learning about love since the first day our mothers kissed us on our foreheads. We've been learning about dedication since the first time we awoke our mothers in the night and they comforted us until sleep claimed us again. Work introduced itself to us the first time we had to make our bed or clean our room. The last inscription on the torch, knowledge, is what we have become acquainted with these 12 years. The first three we understood almost immediately, but it's taken 12 years for us to somewhat understand what knowledge is, although some here might say we have not the faintest clue. While we certainly have not learned everything and do not know everything, we know enough to be qualified bearers of the torch of life. Speaking with one voice, but and as the voice of these 223 others, I would like to thank you for all of your patience and diligence in preparing us for this point in our lives. Soon it will be time for us to take from your hands the torch of human existence. Though the torch may be somewhat scarred and battered, we will do our best to polish it and see that it is not tarnished. We will benefit from your triumphs and learn from your mistakes. Though we will undoubtedly make mistakes of our own, we will see that our children learn from them. You have come to honor us, but we, due greatly to your help in getting thus far, are living monuments of your love, dedication, work, and knowledge. The crowd <coughs> cheers as you hold out the torch and we reach out to accept it and carry it for a time. This is not the end, nor is it the beginning of the end. This is the end of a beginning. Tonight, a new beginning. 